What's up everybody, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. And today I have brand new Transformer figures to show you. Today here we have the Transformer War Force Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Fossilizer Raptor Knight. And this is the third Fossilizer figures we got our hands on. And I must say by far it's my favorite. And now let's get to the review. So here we have Raptor Knight in his animal, in his skeleton mode which is resemble a Xerocosaurus dinosaur instead of a Triceratops and which is really nice and let's talk a little bit about the color first then we get to the details so with this figure itself Hasbro decided to use another color shade so with the Paleo tracks we got the brownish with the Vetebrick we got the darker brown and with this one we had a brand new this is actually white and gray and to in my opinion this resemble more of a skeleton's texture than a normal, just like just a dinosaur. I really enjoy this color. It looks act like actual bones to me now, and I enjoy it a lot. And one more thing, which is really surprised, is that the eye section of this guy is not as it's not hollow like Paleotrex, but instead it got it is got painted in a red color, which shows a characteristic instead of just a skeleton. And let's have a spin of this and see. Of course, we still have that Predacon logo over here. And overall, like I said, the color tone is different, so they use a lot of gray weathering onto this white skeleton here, which makes him look really nice and menacing, in my opinion. I really, I really enjoy all of this really nice weathering details, because it shows that this is actually a bone rather than anything else. And now let's talk about the animal mode, shall we? So the animal mode begins with the head. Like I said, this is a really detailed head sculpt. This is a really detailed head sculpt and I actually I enjoy this a lot. The details are fairly nice and decent and the mouth can open up to reveal nothing. It is quite empty but it is a skeleton so I'm not so not too surprised. Uh, and you got a little bit of teeth here and there which is enough for me. And I must say again I ex exceptionally good with the details with, with the grey weathering onto the face sculpt. It is really nice. Now let's move on to the leg. The legs analyze the gray a little bit more than the head. As you can see, it is more greenish and it is really nice. All the joints here are formed into the muscle. So like it actually got, it, it got an actually like normal standing poses of what the actual animal would stand. So that is really nice. I enjoy that. The upper body section as well, you can see all the bulkiness of all the ribs, which is really nice. And you can still got that standard hole, that hole for the kingdom line. And now to the back feet. The back, the back leg is really nice as well. Like I said, it still outlines the same, more greenish than white. And then uh, one more thing, the back feet is actually larger than the front feet. But then again, you got this extra heel part. With the normal dinosaur, they don't get that. But here they, they have to make it so the robot can actually stand up because this will form the leg section of the robot mode. The tail is again one more really nice thing. But before I talk about the tail, I want to mention the upper section. That is the really nice piece. You got all this nice detail and dust onto it. And the tail is really nice. So learning from the le lesson of Paleo tracks, they stopped making the tails dull instead of making the tail a little bit sharp and made from rubber. So with this and vertebrae, so they can utilize the tail as the weapon in the robot mode, which is really nice and decent. I absolutely enjoy this alternate mode. Articulation wise, we begin in the robot in the alternate mode with the head. So the mouth can open up as you know, and the head can look up and down and do some rotation. The, this is the articulation of the up, the front leg, so it is quite flexible. And so yeah, it's a really nice. And you got some, I guess, but yet you have no pivot at the front leg. And moving on to this whole section, can move like that. And this is the articulation of the back, the rear leg. So it is quite nice. And you got some pivot as well, which is for the robot mode, I know. And this is the articulation of the tail. So this is the size comparison between Deluxe Class Sunstreaker and Deluxe Class Chiro. As we all know, know this alternate beast mode is somewhat a, getting some a little bit of height in the in their alternate mode. But the size, I think, like they're equally matched to the other beast mode such as Chiro. So this is the comparison between the other two fossilizers. So here we have Paleotrex and Vetebrate. And as you can see, Paleotrex is a T-Rex, so he still towers over these two. But what surprised me is that the beast mode of Raptor Knight and Vetebrate got the same height. I guess because he's a four-legged dinosaur. But I think that is enough for now. Let's move on to the robot mode. So now begin with transformation. First, take up this head and take up his two front legs. 
and remove the tail tip and remove this as well and here's a parts former so you just want to remove everything so straighten this up and use this piece and connect it into here and you can see that his body so with this shoulder pad you would want to bend this into this position so after that we just use this part and you want to open his mouth and actually there's a pin over here so push it down that's what we said as the connector for the sh right soldier shoulder and now with the hand it is quite odd so you just connect this and that will be the arm and at this here when I think you want to pull it pin down and put the tail tip of the tail back in as a weapon and then this you can open up the mask and that, that will be it so finishing transforming this guy, I got a mixed up feelings, you know, because like I know the concept of this guy is the bulky medieval knight and I think the transformation shows that but there's a point I feel quite frustrated about, especially the body and I think that is my only problem with these figures and that's kind of time for us to get to some details of this guy so I can wrap this video up The first thing I want to mention about would be his face I mean his face looks quite nice, you got some black paint on there and the eyes are exceptionally good but of course you can choose to leave his face with a mask on like this this is still a nice looking mask medieval night mask and it, I mean, it is still good though so the most of the details you've already seen in the robot mode but it, beside this new chest section so this one we have a lighter gray on a underneath a darker gray and it is really nice though this is a nice chest piece a chest armor piece which is really nice but it, except for that that is the only new thing and I think at this point I will focus a little bit more about the, the right shoulder so the dinosaur head is actually quite interesting first you, you can remove this section out but it is it's quite strange because this is use a triangulate a square connector so um, I'm not too sure which figures will be able to use it but aside from that this two horn onto the top can be removed as well and this uses the same the standard uh, standard joint so it can be used with any joint you see so like you're gonna plug it until here but I don't know what is about that yeah but this is the features though and th enough of that and the only th the, o the other problems I have got with this mode will be the hand so he doesn't actually got any moving hand but in got this weird looking pin and tap connectors so I guess you can use some others to fill that in so I'm gonna try to bring in some piece of paleo tracks, hoping that that. So probably it can be used with this X thing of paleo tracks like this. I know to hold the weapon. And I think this works. In my opinion, this works. So yeah, not a bad idea. But despite from that, I think this is the only thing I gotta say about this robot because we all, because with this kind of beast figures, this is all we have seen in the robot mode, especially the fossilizer. This is all we have seen in the dinosaur mode, but the robot is, is merely like standing up. So I think it's time for some size, size comparison. Should be good by now. We've got the size comparison between Raptor Knight and Sunstreaker, and of course Cheeto. And as you can see, they're deluxe class, so the scale was somewhat similar. Nothing too special here. So I'm gonna just show you this, and I'm gonna bring in Paleo Trex and Vertebrae. So here we have Paleo Trex next to Raptor Knight and Vertebrae. As you can see, the scale are nice here. You can see start to see the forming of the skeleton gang. For the articulation, first we begin with the head as usual. You can look up and down a little bit and do a full 360. And then this is the arm movement because this is quite interesting here. So you see this can be form full folded all down as a whip, or you can just leave it like that. And it, of course this can do a full 360. And this is the bicep swivel. This is the bend of the elbow. And of course you got two joints because this is a dinosaur leg so yeah it got a double jointed elbow you can call it that and of course the tail can move up and down because of the heels and he got a waist swivel which is decent kick to the front which is really nice because you got no armor on it kick to the back which is also really nice you got a nice split you got a elbow bend and you got a thigh swivel and then you got no leg movement, you got pivot this pivot is quite nice, really long range of pivot 
So I mean, articulation-wise, this guy's decent enough, but I would rather not posing him like this, but to transform him into the other forms, which is the weapon form. So now let's begin. First off, remove this whole section. And then pull it out and attach this onto it. So you've got a really big lance thing. And now let's get to combine this one into Megatron. This is only my tutorial though, so you can actually like combine it however you want it. So here we have what I call the Megatron slash Raptor Knight combined mode. I mean like it is only a, an example of what you can do with these figures. And I guess in my opinion this fossilized slash weaponizer figures are the best for utilizing with the other figures to give them an overhaul and update. So it is depends on you. Because probably the future will combine Paleo Trex and Raptor Knight together to form something even better. But that is for the future. And so that will be it for today's review guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review of the Transformer Wolver Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class, Raptor Knight, and despite from that, enjoy my video, and if you are new to this channel, give me a subscribe and follow me on Instagram, that is where I do most of my updates, and also, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. link is in the description below. So that will be it for today's guys, ta ta now.